Let's balance the equation for MgOH2 decomposing into MgO plus H2O. We'll also look at the type of reaction as well. So let's start with the type of reaction. We have this one compound here, and it's breaking apart into two separate compounds. So because we have the one thing going into two or more compounds, this is called a decomposition reaction. To balance the equation, let's count the atoms up. We have one magnesium atom, and the two here, it applies to everything. So two times one, that gives us two oxygens, two times one, two hydrogens. So these are the number of atoms in the reactants. Products, we have one magnesium, and then oxygen, we have one here, but be careful because there's one here with the oxygen as well. You have to count both of those. And then hydrogen, we have two of those. And you'll notice something we're done. This equation, it's already balanced. These numbers are identical to these numbers here. If you had problems, you probably counted this oxygen here and forgot about this one. That's pretty common. Or perhaps you didn't multiply everything in parentheses by two. If you wanted to write the states, that would look like this. In order for this to decompose, you have to heat it up pretty hot. So when this is hot, it will decompose into the MgO. That'll be a solid, but the water, that'll be a gas. That'll just leave the system. So we'll end up with a solid MgOH2, magnesium hydroxide, magnesium oxide will be a solid, and water, because it's hot, it'll be a gas. Could condense later, but let's stick with the gas here. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.